Hey everybody, welcome back to the Piano Shed. This is Jeff. In today's lesson, we're going to be checking out a nice spread voicing that you can take over a 12-bar blues. I'm going to start off by playing it for you so you can get a feel for how it sounds. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to start off by taking this four measures at a time. And I want you to follow along with the sheet music in the video. So our first four measures have these two chords. Okay, so our first chord, we're in the key of F, doing an F blues. Our first chord is an F7. And we have E flat, A, D, G, C, and F. Our seven, third, thirteen, nine, fifth, and then the root at the top. We have our third and seven holding down the bottom of the voicing. Then we have some tensions in the middle, thirteen and nine, and finally the fifth and the root, a little more airy sound up top. To get to our next chord, B flat seven, we're gonna keep the same structure in our right hand and we're just gonna move the left hand down to that. D, A flat, C. So again, we have a third and seven holding down the bottom of the voicing, then the nine, 13, we have another nine, and then the fifth on top. So this gives us our B flat seven. That's the four chord. So we have F seven to B flat seven or one to four. So that covers the first two measures and measures three and four, easy enough, are F7 and F7 again. So let's play those four measures in whole notes. One, two, three, four, three, four, B flat seven, F7. Okay, so let's move on to the next four measures. That's gonna sound like this. Okay, so we start off with our B flat seven chord, which we've seen before. And then we repeat again, back to our F seven, one chord. Now we're gonna move to the six chord, which is a D seven in the key of F blues. Okay, we have this voicing for a D7. This is a D7 altered. So we have our third seven. This is a sharp nine. So remember, the nine on a D is the same as the second. And a sharp nine is right there. We have our flat 13, our flat nine, and then a sharp 11. So we call this an altered chord because it has a lot of the altered tensions. It has the altered nine, altered 13, and altered 11. So that's F sharp, C, F natural, B flat, E flat, and A flat. Let's play the second four measures of the blues. In whole notes again. So B flat, two, three, four, B flat, two, three, four, F7, and then D7 altered. Okay, now let's move on to the final four measures. Here we have. So we have a couple new chords to learn. We have a G minor seven chord. F, B flat, D, A, D, and G. So once again, seven and third are at the bottom of the voicing. We have the fifth, nine, fifth, and then the root on top. 
So I want to go over the transition between our previous chord, D7 altered, to this one. I want to go over that in the right hand. Notice our right hand is just moving down by half steps. So here is D7, check out the right hand, and then G minor 7, just moving down a half step. To get from our G minor 7 to the chord that's in measure 10, C7, we're just moving one note, F to E. So now let's think of these notes in terms of a C7. We have a third, seven, nine, thirteen, nine, and fifth. And then our last two measures, our chord rhythm moves a little bit faster. We have half notes now. F7, back to our D7 alt, G minor seven, and then finally the C7. Let's try those last four measures of the blues. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, C7, and F7, D7, Alt, G minor 7, C7. All right, before we move on, let's try the whole blues form with a very simple rhythm, whole notes and half notes. Two, three, four. Flat seven, F seven, to B flat seven, G minor seven, C seven, F, D, G minor, C, and then we're at the top. Okay, so now I want to go over some ways we can alter our five chord. So our five chord in the F blues is this C7. To make it a C7 altered, we can do a really simple move. We can take this structure, structure of fourths that we have in our right hand, and move it down a half step. We're going to move this down, and we're going to move this note up just by a half step. So we move from C7 to C7 altered. And thinking of this in terms of a C, we have third seven, sharp nine, flat 13, flat nine, and sharp 11. This is actually the same structure that we used for D7, just down a whole step. So again, moving from C7 to C7 altered, we get that sound. So there's two different ways we can apply this to the last four measures. We can either completely replace the C7 with the C altered, and that would sound like this. C7 altered, F, D, G, C7 altered. Or, we can add the C7 altered in addition to the regular C7. And that would sound like this. G minor 7, C7, C7 alt, F7, D7, G minor, C7, C alt. So it's two different ways we can apply that nice altered voicing for our C7. One other thing we can do is add grace notes to some of these voicings to give them a little bit more flavor. So what I mean by that, let's take that first F7. Sometimes I'll play the bottom note of the voicing before the rest, just right before rhythmically to give it a little bit of momentum. Do something like that. That's one grace note that we can add, just taking the bottom note and just playing it just before. Another nice one works 
over our D7 alt. This grace note, I'm going to go up from this note to this note. This isn't really a note that we would normally play in our D7 alt, but if we're just sliding up from here to here, it gives a nice sound. So that's a grace note that you can use over D7. And finally, a nice one to use over our G minor 7 voicing is to slide up from D flat to D natural. And you can do the same thing over C7. It's pretty subtle, but it gives it just a little bit of flavor. All right, let me play the whole blues form for you, playing some of those grace notes. Two, three, four. And finally, one last thing I want to tell you about this blues spread voicing is how you can use it with left hand only. So we could take our same voicings and take out the right hand. And these actually make really nice voicings that you could use either when you're playing a melody or when you're taking a solo. So it gives it a nice open feel that doesn't get too muddy while you're soloing. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to play around with the voicings, add your own rhythm, and of course, transpose into all 12 keys. These voicings work great in all 12 keys. So say I were to play it in B flat, that'd be my one chord, the four chord, Back to one, to the four, E flat seven, and to B flat seven, our one chord, our six chord would be, it's a G seven, G seven alt, our two chord, C minor seven, five, F seven, and then the one, B flat seven. So I went through that kind of quickly. But what I would suggest is do that on your own, do the theory work yourself, and take it in all 12. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson on blues spread voicings. Happy shedding, and we'll see you at the next lesson. <laughs>